Okay, in the last video you saw how we stitched the jelly roll together. <coughs> this is what we ended up with. So we've got five strips here. We then take those five strips, I have a 10 inch square, and place it on the strip and cut your square. So you should get four out of a strip with a tiny little bit of waste. So there's a few things now you can do with your jelly roll. You can place, place them on top of each other. If you cut your jelly roll on the diagonal, you're able to create this lovely square by sewing the two squares back together. But what happens is you get two squares that look like this with a dark border on the outside, but you also get two with a dark on the inside if you cut them on the diagonal, which is quite yummy. And then you can sew those together to create another interesting. This has got the dark on the outside and I have the other one here that has the dark on the inside. So from two of these strips, you will get two of these squares. So you can see how a quilt would grow quickly. And because this belongs to the same family, they would look quite nice just sewn together like that. But you can also do another interesting thing with your jelly roll and that is to rearrange them. So this one is going this way with my dark on the outside. Doesn't matter which way you can decide. So this is going horizontal, this one's going vertical, this one again horizontal and this one vertical. And you could just sew that together as it is, again, to make a lovely quilt. But you can also do something else in here, and that is, for those that have an embroidery machine, I've created this design, and this is then sewn into those seams, which makes it a really yummy. This is um, the 10 minute quilt block. There's only three seams that hold this together and it's a fantastic option for your jelly rolls. Because this here is on the fold, you can fold this back in and stitch it down to create like a cathedral window look or you can leave it square. Because I've done the embroidery, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it square. So that's it girls, have some fun with your jelly rolls and I'll be back to show you some more hints and tips another day.